Hello, my name is Omar Ambassador. It's March 7th, Wednesday, um, 2018 at 1.45 p.m. in Toronto. So I'm going to talk today about um, assessments, assessments at work um, and, uh, and dismissals, and how in my case it's tied into the community targeting program um, through which I am being affected. So, or by which I'm being affected. So, in my hand, I have a letter that was presented to me last Friday, March 2nd. And uh, it was a letter of dismissal. And I'm going to just read the first paragraph. It says, Dear Oma, the company, I'm not going to say the name, has assessed her performance and has determined that it will not meet its requirements to cover the maternity leave for which you were hired. As a result, this is to confirm that your probationary employment with the company will end effectively in accordance with the provisions of your employment agreement. So that's, uh, that's um, part of the letter. So let me discuss the assessment in the company. So um, I had uh, gone in uh, at the month end. So there were deadlines to be met as per contracts from the clients. So the company did the accounting for um, clients who held real estate holdings in portfolios. So um, I was learning the system. I was learning the companies that, um, that was... Um, being serviced by the contracts. So I was learning the buildings. Um, I was um, learning the, um, the requirements for each building, which was different. So the, the reporting package was pretty comprehensive. So you had um, the financial statements, um, um, income statement, balance sheet, um, uh, variance analysis, lease activity, um, cash flow analysis, uh, security deposit analysis, um, last month, well, not security, excuse me, last month rent, which is security. And there were a lot of, um, a lot of backup schedules, uh, Excel schedules that supported this report, this uh, report packaging, the report packages, excuse me. So there was a lot of work that's what is involved to put this report together. Keep in mind, um, this was week one, um, and so everything is new, and a lot of uh, a lot of information was was um, was thrown at me. A lot of information, which I expected to a certain degree, and um, and uh, I um, got most of it done. There were a few mistakes. So, given what was done. Uh, as far as the training uh, on the system and training on the reporting went, given this this um, this uh, this um, situation, uh, this was this situation I should say was played out against a backdrop of comments, multiple comments, constant comments. Uh, on a daily basis since day one um, about, uh, um, you know, about prostitution, about whores, about sex slavery, about pimps. Um, there was one black receptionist, female, who was constantly talking about somebody named Rick. And uh, Rick has a big one for you. And um, she, because I was, uh, I was um, in in her um, immediate environments, I could hear what she was saying. So Rick had a big black one for you. Rick is a good trainer. Um, Rick loves you. He will take care of you. Um, she's mentally retarded. She is slow. She is dumb. Um, and all these things. I heard the name Stanislaus. I heard I have you. Um, I will take care of you. And different people to took turns at doing this. So I'm suspecting that 
the um, the situation that I'm facing here in this building, one of monitoring, constant reporting, flagging, was extended into the workplace because what I'm experiencing here and the legal case that's going on that was based, that is based on what I'm experiencing here was extended or is extended into the, that workplace. So it was against this backdrop that I was learning all this, um, this new procedures, reporting systems, um, and, uh, and how the requirements of the clients, uh, and, and, and taking in a tremendous amount of information, new information, and getting it done at the same time, most of it done. There were mistakes, of course, because this was the first time I was doing it. So I just wanted to, um, to paint that picture, the, the reality of the picture that was my experience in that company. Because being dismissed after three weeks into a contract, that I took a lot of time and took a lot of effort to go to the interviews, first of all, to search for the company and search for um, the, the, the ads and apply and take time to reply and uh, take time to go to the interview and uh, refusing other interviews along the way and choosing the company and accepting the offer, a lot of effort. And then to be dismissed after three weeks, presumably because I don't feel fulfill the requirements of the job. I have to ask myself, um, were the requirements not fulfilled uh, because the expectations from, um, from the letter um, was very high and the learning curve was extremely steep? Was expectations not fulfilled because I wasn't learning and retaining the work the new information coming at me, or was it not fulfilled because I was doing this against the backdrop of being horrific, horrifically harassed by the coworkers who was surveilling me based on a report that was in the workplace without disclosure to me. Now, if it's the case that I was dismissed because I did not fulfill the requirements um, and this was going on in the background that was not, not disclosed to me. And the company knew that there was a reporting that had to be done before they hired me. Why was I hired in the first place? If there was an assessment that had to be done, the two things should have been separated out. My ability to do the work technically and uh, the, um, the uh, people, the relationships with the people, these two things are different in my case, in this case specifically, because the relationships with the people determines to a certain extent how you do your work, how accurately the work is done, because the work, the reporting involves getting information from other parties as well. The, the same parties who are harassing me. So if I'm taking a long time to do something, was it because I couldn't do it or was it because I wasn't getting the right information or I wasn't getting the inf information uh, in, the, uh, in a timely manner? All these things had to be taken into account. So the question had to be asked, if the company was aware that this reporting had to be done, if there was a contract to surveil that was not disclosed to me, the company certainly did not disclose to me. If there was a report that had to be made about me, it was never disclosed to me. The fact that there was a report to be made from the company itself means that information was in the workplace, that I was under suspicion, as one of the co-workers said. So again, I had to ask my que this question, why did the company hire me in the first place? If they were aware of this situation and it was not disclosed to me. If they wanted me and thought that I had the requirements when I interviewed, then this should have been disclosed to me in the first place. Because it de definitely wasn't disclosed to me at any point in time ever. So I couldn't disclose this to the employer. 
So was dis the dismissal, um, I, I should say, uh, let me rephrase that. Did the dismissal reflect the reality uh, of the situation? Did it reflect the fact that I could actually do the work? I had absolutely no doubt. I have absolutely no doubt, I should say, that I could have done the work. The job was relatively easy, actually. It was volume and a steep learning curve, but once it was learned, it was not difficult at all. So I could do the work. But was the work the issue? Was the requirement that was not fulfilled the actual technical ability, or was it based on the harassment that was in the workplace and how uh, it affected my ability to concentrate and focus? And even so, I got most of it done. So hopefully this is not going to be a situation that's going to repeat itself in another, um, in another company. Uh, I do have other interviews coming up. So um, hopefully there is no flag in the system. There is no reporting to be done. And this is something I'm trying to deal with with the police. Um, the thing is, I need a lawyer to get to the police because the police definitely... Um, doesn't believe me when I when I call them and complain about things like harassment and being stopped and so on. So I need a lawyer to deal with the police and I need money to do that. So it's a catch-22 situation, which I believe is being um, made to happen. It's part of targeting. If you don't have money, you can't fight us, basically. So uh, hopefully in another company um, in the future, any other companies in the future, this situation will not repeat itself. I am a very good worker. I'm a very hard worker. I like to get things done. I'm self-motivated. I work well both with people and alone. Given that there is no harassment, vicious, heinous, horrific harassment in the workplace, and this should not be allowed to continue in any workplace. Talk to you another time.